Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your free Dow analysis for the trading session dated Monday 11th of April. This is my main wave count on a daily chart for the Dow and I'm expecting still one more final push upwards at least before we have the possibility of the end of primary wave 2. We need to use this big wide blue channel here on the daily chart to indicate to us when primary 2 is over and primary 3 is underway. Draw a trend line from the high of 1 to 3 and place a copy on the low of 2. When we see at least one full daily candlestick below this big wide channel on the daily chart, then we'll have our first indication using this technique of Elliott's that primary 2 zigzag is over and primary 3 is underway. Until the trend is proved otherwise, the trend remains the same, so we should be expecting the trend is still upwards until it's been proven otherwise. At this stage, the structure on the hourly chart from the low down here on up to the high sees one more upwards push as being required before this could be over. At this target zone, I expect we're probably going to see, or may see, a trend change about this target zone of 12,573.34. Wave C black, beginning down here, will reach 0.618 to the length of wave A black, and at 12,661.1 points, wave 5 blue, beginning here, will reach equality with wave 3 blue, and this target zone is pretty close to a target I have for the hourly chart for one more upwards push. Taking you now to the hourly chart with the low for 4 blue down here, oh, just before we go there, one other thing. We may expect with a little fourth wave overshoot, sometimes that indicates to us an overshoot on the opposite side of the channel where the fifth wave ends. Two pretty common places for fifth waves to end, either midway in this channel, which it's at now, or towards the upper end of the channel, and this may, as I said, indicate an overshoot, so we should look out for that. Taking you now to the hourly chart with a low for four blue down here, is this point down here. So far we have a one, two, and an extended third wave, a flat for a fourth wave and we may be working on the very final fifth wave up now. Movement below 12,320.72 would invalidate this wave count. If this wave counts invalidated we may expect that this fourth wave at green, to be green degree could be extending lower as a double combination. We may have a flat X and we may have a second structure in a double. So that's what invalidation of this wave count would mean that my labelling for 4 green being over here would be premature and we'd expect just a little bit more downwards movement if that was the case, but not too much more. If the flat extends sideways as a double, then we would expect mostly sideways movement and not necessarily reasonable new lows. This target here, 12,563.31, is simply where wave 5 green will reach a quality sorry, we'll reach 1.618 the length of wave 1 green and that's very close to the target on the daily chart. So one more push up for a complete fifth wave to finally end a five wave structure from the low of 4 blue may be the end of primary wave 2. If it doesn't turn around there we'll calculate a longer target, we'll calculate the next target to the upside. So it's likely we're going to see further upwards movement tomorrow from the Dow. That's all for me today with your Dow analysis. I hope this helps you in your trading. And if you would like daily analysis of the S&P 500, you'll find it on my site.